I just don't understand why there's cow manure in the kitchen, to be honest. Cow is considered God. Yeah, no, no, but no, it's because poop on the kitchen it's table. It's what? Poop in the kitchen where you're preparing food? Yeah, you can certainly see why Kim is disgusted by that. What the But keep in mind, this is totally normal for TJ's family. And Kim's attitude risks ruining the delicate relationship that she's beginning to rebuild with TJ's family. But the problem is, <laughs> it gets worse. I'm just pouring few drops of cow urine. Look at Kim's sheer panic. Now, <laughs> before we get to whatever's going on here, let's just start at the beginning. So we left TJ and Kim last week, exhausted after their wedding. But it was then, as Kim was nodding off, that TJ decided to begin explaining Kim's new household responsibilities. Only she was far too tired to take it all in. So when we join them today, he's bringing it back up. Only now it's a bit more serious. Today, we are going to meet my mom and Yash to go over the household duties. But Kimberly and my family are so stubborn. Now, we know that Kim's relationship with TJ's family has been patched up, but it's definitely not entirely healed yet. So while everyone's acting friendly, there is some tension in the air. Perhaps everyone's eagerly anticipating how Kim will react to being told what to do, especially by her brother-in-law, Yash. So as Kim and TJ walk downstairs and take a seat with Yash and TJ's mum, his mum immediately starts by doing the one thing that TJ was worried she might. So TJ's mum explains that now that they're married, Kim's expected to take on some of the household responsibilities. And that means the entire household, not just the upstairs. This is the norm in India. It's customary. And I will say this, TJ's mum is delivering some bad news with a lovely smile. So I was quickly up, and after that, I was like, 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 Okay, so TJ's family can lay down all the rules they like, but Kim is still Kim. She's not going to like them. She's not going to take them lying down. And there's one rule in particular that she's really not happy with. Now, Kim tells TJ that she expects that whoever isn't cooking should be the one that washes up. She's not accepting that just because she's a woman, she needs to do both. And I agree with her, like, that's fair. That's a partnership. But the problem is, <laughs> Kim's suggestion only seems to baffle TJ's mum. What's the problem in washing dishes? <laughs> oh my god, dishes make me want to throw up because they've been in everybody's mouth, it gets all this different food and it gets disgusting and it... Ugh. There's something about the way that Kim so passionately explains why washing dishes grosses her out that it even brings a smile to Yash's face. But whilst this might be fun and games, there is a serious undertone to this discussion. TJ's family are trying to measure what kind of responsibilities she is willing to take on. Like, what duties will they expect from her? Will she sweep up? Will she cook for herself and TJ? Can she even cook? How many things you know? Like, how many recipes and, and what the things, you know? Indian recipes? I don't know many. I would like to be able to learn a bunch of recipes. Kim is actually being calm and level-headed in this conversation. She seems to genuinely want to play a part. She wants to learn how to cook his family recipes. She wants to take responsibility for some meals. And it's nice to see her embrace this new part of her life whilst also maintaining her boundaries. And for once, everyone seems happy. So this is how the things were working before you came. And now you are actually taking responsibility and this is very good in our culture. Wow, you've got to hand it to her. Kim is beginning to adjust to Indian life. She's even beginning to master the famous Indian head nod. That's side to side rather than up and down. Now, the conversation ends on a positive note, but... 
Kim still has something pretty serious that she needs to talk to TJ about, alone, upstairs. I specifically asked you this stuff before we got married, and you said, no, don't worry about it. And then suddenly, you're like, okay, well, yeah, you actually got to do it all. I don't know why you thought that you didn't have to do it. This is definitely a first. Kim's calling TJ out for lying to her about a huge part of her future, but she's somehow doing it very calmly. That's not how I expected this conversation to go. She tells him it's not okay the way he's handled this. She feels disrespected, and TJ has this really embarrassed smile on his face. He knows that the way he acted wasn't right. So yeah, it should have been done from my side, but maybe I didn't know much about the thing. That's why we had a meeting with my mom. She's much clearer about things. Once again, TJ is lying straight to Kim's face with absolutely no remorse. Talk about red flags. He 100% knew exactly what was expected of Kim, but he was too afraid to tell her. He was scared she might leave him. And now he's pleading ignorance, the coward. I don't understand why TJ can't be just straight up with me and tell me what he expects of me, rather than having his mom tell me. Yeah, but is that gonna keep happening in the future? Like, is every time something tough comes up, is TJ going to try and avoid it? Is he gonna go running to his mummy? Now, for the time being, the conversation is over, and TJ, in my opinion, got off very lightly. He should be very grateful. So when we join them the next day, TJ's mum is coming upstairs to help teach Kim how to cook Indian recipes. Yesterday, TJ's mom and Yash laid out a bunch of rules with me and I wanted to show them that I'm willing to make an effort. So I asked TJ's mom to show me how to make one of TJ's favorite traditional Indian meals. This is a really good move by Kim. She's trying to show to Yash's family, to her mother-in-law, that she does want to take care of TJ. She doesn't want to deprive him of his favorite Indian foods. She's demonstrating the ability to listen and learn. And she's respectful of TJ's mum. She's proving she wants to make TJ happy. But it all goes downhill from there. You see, TJ announces that he needs to leave. He needs to leave Kim alone with his mum and Yash. Why? Well, he has some highly dubious, very suspicious work that he needs to do. So off he goes. And the very first thing that happens after TJ leaves, leaves Kim speechless. <laughs> What? Did you just say cow dung in the kitchen? Yeah, I understand cultural and religious sensitivity here, but that does seem kind of gross. Poop, feces, where you prepare food. Now, not that this makes it any better, you understand, but one thing they don't actually mention in the show is whether this is a one-off ritual or whether they do it every time they prepare food. If this is an everyday occurrence, then you've got to question how Kim hasn't seen this before. Either way, now that she is seeing it, she's freaked out. I just don't understand why there's cow manure in the kitchen, to be honest. Cow is considered God. Yeah, but it's poop on the kitchen table. Cows and their byproducts are considered so holy in India that, and listen, this is wild. When I researched this, it blew my mind. During COVID, some people covered themselves in cow dung and cow urine to try and cure their COVID symptoms. That's how seriously this is taken. That's how holy cows are. Now, of course, I'm not saying that that's what TJ's family did. But what we do know is TJ's family are exceptionally religious, way more than the average Indian Hindu family. And this, the burning of cow dung, definitely isn't the norm. So it's no surprise that Kim is really struggling to stomach this one. What the f I try to be very respectful of their customs, their culture, and everything like that. But I draw the line, I draw my boundaries at this right here. This is disgusting. This is definitely a very unusual situation. She wasn't born or raised in this culture with these customs. So it is only natural that she's gonna be grossed out by what she's seeing. But I have some bad news for her because the cow dung is only the start of all of her problems. It's about to get even worse. I'm just pouring few drops of cow urine 
Why? Why indeed? <laughs> Yash is bringing some horrifically coloured cow urine to sprinkle all around the house. He's like the world's worst fairy with pixie dust. A little here, a little there, <laughs> and unfortunately for Kim, the smell of cow urine is far more potent, apparently, than any pixie dust. Why? I told you that it has some antimacular properties, this is why I, it is used. I don't want my house to it smell will, like will, a petting zoo. It will go away, it will go away. Now, as far as scientific claims go, I'm not sure I can verify that one. I don't know how accurate it is. But one thing Yash does say that is true is the smell will eventually go away. But that's no consolation for Kim. She's reached her limit, and to be fair to her, it was a lot. There she was, expecting a nice afternoon of cooking, but instead, Yash and his mum have breezed into her apartment, into her space, and after scattering and burning theses and urine everywhere, they've really pissed Kim off. But somehow, remarkably, Kim manages to bite her tongue for now. Because next up, it's time to start cooking. But are we going to use that to clean? Yeah. Clean again. Sorry, but that is so gross. TJ's mum used the same rag that she cleaned the cow dung off the kitchen counter to then wipe down the dishes. And totally understandably, watching that, Kim's disgust just rises. That is her limit. So she begins screaming for TJ to come upstairs. And as she calls out for TJ, his mum begins grumbling. She begins to make remarks about what she sees as Kim's negative attitude. So TJ's mum is annoyed at Kim. She feels that Kim is making a fuss over nothing. But that's hardly the case. I wouldn't call what we've just witnessed nothing. In fact, even TJ backs Kim up. He tells his mum off for cleaning the poop and then using that cloth to clean the dishes. So begrudgingly, after a lot of huffing and puffing, TJ's mum re-cleans using a different cloth. But she's clearly not happy with Kim. And you get the sense their already fragile relationship is once again strained. <laughs> TJ wanted his wife and his mum to bond, but it's backfired horribly. This has been a clash of cultures. TJ's mum sees cow dung as healing, as holy. So she can't fathom why Kim's so averse to this. But from Kim's perspective, it's poo. That's not what you want on your brand new kitchen. And certainly not what you want to be eating. I love TJ's culture. I like what it stands for. I like everything it's rooted in. But I'm not all about TJ's family overpowering me in my own home. It may only be the very early days of Kim's Indian housewife training, but already Kim is feeling disgusted and bulldozed by TJ's mum and the family traditions. She's in a very tricky position here. There's a very delicate balance that she needs to find. She's going to have to be firm but respectful. She has to be very careful that her actions aren't interpreted as being disrespectful to the culture. But it might already be too late. TJ's mum isn't happy with what she's just witnessed. And you get the feeling a fight might be imminent. 